Hi everyone, hello and happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I am here, we are back, and I am so happy to be here with you guys. I hope everybody has had a fantastic couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. I have some great things here to show you and so I wanna just jump right in. And then at the end of this, I'm gonna do a little chat with you really quick to thank you for everybody's love and support and hitting the 1,000 subscribers, and I am so grateful. But before we get into details about that, I am going to haul for you guys, and I cannot wait. I started picking up things to be able to do some traveling, some traveling. We are gearing up to go and to travel around and see what we can see and possibly meet who we can meet. Because I said that that was one of my goals when I hit a thousand was to be able to sprinkle myself around and see if anybody wanted to engage and meet up and say hi. So those plans are in the works now. The spring is coming. Summertime is coming. So we're trying to get some things underway. And I wanted to look and see what I could pull together from the Dollar Tree for traveling reasons. So I grabbed these earbuds right here, which I think are the cutest earbuds I have ever seen. And they have these little coffee cups with the hearts on them. So absolutely adorable. But they had so many different styles that were terribly cute. I could not I wanted to take them all honestly, but these were my favorite because they are the coffee cups with the hearts. It says it's compatible with most audio devices, lightweight and comfortable microphone volume control. So I picked these up. I'm hoping that they work with my cell phone so that, you know, if my husband's driving or my son is, if he is able to come with us wherever we end up, I can pop in my earbuds and just kind of zone out for a little while, listen to my podcasts that I listen to and watch my friends here on YouTube and their channels for a little while because we road trip everywhere. So that's how we travel and those will be good for me to just zone out for a little bit. I did grab a one from the balloon section. This is the inflatable 14 inch balloon. They usually have zero through nine. If they have them available, it does come with the straw that you insert in the end of the one so that you can blow it up. And it works out quite well for us. I've bought these for all of Isaiah's birthdays so that he can have his number of the year and take photos with it. So I grabbed this one and I'm going to hold a K next to it and take some pictures this weekend. I did take one yesterday. My husband brought me home a huge colorful one balloon home with him. He's so happy, so thankful. He just feels so excited, you know, and happy for me that this happened, which we honestly never really put too much thought into. So, um, it, it was just an exciting day. So he brought me home that huge one, but I did want to grab a smaller one so that I can take some other types of pictures this weekend when we're out and about and just having a little bit of fun with it. So those are an option in the party section. Then I grabbed some of the cutest luggage tags. I could ever have imagined picking up and luggage tag it says right on the old label there and here is the little van with the flowers on it my little hippie van I hope to have someday so this just clips right onto your luggage and on the back it does have this little window type of thing right here where you can write down your information on like a little card and give all of your like name and telephone number email and things like that so that if your luggage ever goes missing somebody can locate it and get it back to you hopefully so I picked this one up all of these tags are for, for myself by the way I found all the ones that I wanted and I'm a girl so I take multiple bags when I go away so I needed all these three tags for myself I picked up that one I think it is just adorable so so cute with the pineapple the little straw and the umbrella coming out of it and then, oh, this one has it. So that one must have fallen out, but it says name, address, telephone number, and email you write on the back just in case of emergencies and your bag gets misplaced. And then this one. This one says, but first coffee. 
and it's a coffee cup. So I loved that, loved that, loved that. And these are perfect. I used to travel so much from when Isaiah was like seven up until we had, you know, the situation with the world kind of just going haywire with COVID and all kinds of really sad things. So I don't know where my luggage tags went. I went and looked for them, but that's fine because they had all these new ones out and I was excited to pick them up. So I have brand new fresh luggage tags to go on my travel bags. I picked up flip flops. They have the flip flops out. I love this periwinkle color. It is so adorably cute. And I love the bumblebees in the mason jar with the little queen crowned. It says be positive on it. And these are not bad flip flops. I wear these throughout the summer all the time. I buy extra pairs for camp, especially when we go into the communal showers and so that we don't have to step on the floor or anything like that or in the shower in our bare feet so i usually get a lot of flip-flops from the dollar tree i wear them regular you know regularly and i also wear them to protect my feet you know in community settings so i grabbed these and i love these so much but they did have all the flip flops out so there were so many different colors and shades and the designs on them they were fun but I wanted to grab those for sure because I loved the bumblebees and the periwinkle color. Now let's get into some glass stuff because this stuff always makes me nervous and you guys know that. I picked up some more things for Easter and you know just for little inserts into baskets and things like that. I found these little jars right here, these little porcelain jars and I think that they are absolutely beautiful and it says count your blessings name them one by one place them here in time you will see that God has blessed you every day so that is just really really such a pretty jar and sentiment to like think about writing down your thoughts sticking it into the jar so I grabbed that one. Then I also picked up this one that says, give thanks and be grateful. Same concept to this one. Really, really cute. And then this one right here is the third one. I think that there was only three all together. And this one says, say your prayers, name them one by one, place them here. In time, you will see that God has heard and answered. So this one says prayers on it and the other one said blessings, but it says the same thing under it. So I got all three of those and I'm going to gift those in baskets. I also picked up more of the white angels because everybody loved those white angels. So I grabbed another one for my mom because my mom absolutely loved it. So how cute is that going to be, you know, in a basket? Hold on, let me grab this back. You know, they have prayer cards. They have all kinds of stuff. So these two together, so, so beautiful. You know, even if you were just to gift those two things and that's it, that is a beautiful little Easter gift or an anytime gift just to give like your love to somebody and your prayers to somebody and let them know that you're thinking of them. So I really love all of those options that are coming out right now. And they're usually on that little glass case that's kind of like a round case. It's all glass shelves and that's where I found them up toward the front of the store. So there's that. Then I picked up some beautiful, beautiful baskets. I loved the, um, the woven look to them. I think that they're so pretty. So here is the rectangle one right there in the pink. And I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do my, some in my bathroom with face cloths in it rolled up, you know, another one with maybe hand towels in it rolled up, you know, cute, some with soap, a little basket with my toothpaste and flosses and things like that, just to kind of keep everything contained in different categories. Um, here's the gray one. That's the same style as the pink, really cute. And the structure of it is 
wonderful. Like it's not, it's not flimsy at all. Well, maybe just the sides a little bit, but it's really a tough little basket. So I snatched these right up. I saw them on the shelf and I'm like, I need one of each color. I surely need one of each color. And then here's the beautiful turquoise looking one. So there is this one right here. So absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous baskets. And then I did pick up one circular one in this orange. And this would be really cute for an Easter basket because of the color of it. I think it's really pretty. And I love that it's a circle. So it has that woven look on it as well. And it, they did have the circle ones in every single one of those colors I just showed you. But I only wanted one of the orange in the circle. So I picked up this basket right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So where do we go next? Because like there is just so much to show you guys. And I'm so excited. <laughs> so I picked up these straws. I grabbed these straws right here and they were from the Easter section. How beautiful are those colors all together? So pastel and pretty. I love the gingham like checkers all over them. Really, really nice. Stick in your little Easter cup and have a nice little sip of your beverage for Easter dinner. Just adds a little bit more pastel to the Easter table, which you know I love pastels. I love all the colors in the rainbow and in the world. There's not one color that I don't like. So I grabbed those. Then I found this kitchen towel. And this one was brand new. They had several different ones actually out. And I did take a picture, if I can remember correctly, I did take a picture of all the new kitchen towels in the Easter line that were out. And I will share that over on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. It's Crazy Days of Callan. I always like to share lots of things with you there. So these... Um, this only was a kitchen towel. I couldn't find like an oven mitt or a pot holder or anything like that, which I was surprised about. Maybe they'll come out with it. I'm just not sure. And then Holy Toledo. Will you look at this sign? They just get better and better and better at their signs. That has to be the dearest sign with the bunny in the middle as the O and it says hop. That is so cute. So I'll show it to you slowly. All that pink glitter, uh, glittery ears. So pretty. I love, love, love this piece. The flowers in the middle. And then the little pom-pom tail. I love it. Such a beautiful, cute little wall hanging. And it has the twine up here for hanging purposes. So I needed that. I definitely do not need any more signs, but how can you leave something there that is that cute? I mean, honestly. <laughs> so I grabbed that and I will find a place to put it because it's just too cute not to. Now let's get into one thing of makeup. I have a couple of different like, you know, toiletry things and cosmetic right here. And this is from NYX. This is Fearless is the color. And I love purples. So if you've been with me for a while, I know that you know that. My color palette for makeup is usually like, you know, lavender purple based. And I found this and was very happy to find it. So it says Love Out Loud Liquid Lipstick. And it is cruelty free. So I found it online. It's not too much more, but I did find it on Walmart for $3.00. So the same exact one for $3. You know what? It's not $1.25 like it is at the Dollar Tree. So where am I going to pick it up? At my dear old Dollar Tree. And I grabbed that and I can't wait to try that out. So I'm super excited about that. Then I found these hand washes. And this says raw sugar. Simply hand wash on both of them. The green one here. Look at that's a really big size hand wash. And I've never heard of that brand before, but it looks pretty fancy schmancy to me. It says this one is for sensitive skin. It's green tea and cucumber, aloe and aloe vera. 
and it says free of sulfates, parabens, and it's vegan and it's nine fluid ounces. So I cannot wait to try this and I don't even think I attempted to smell it. Um, I'm not getting a hint of any smell, but you know what? If it's good for my dry, dry skin and my dry, dry hands, then I'm going to still love it. And then this one is the next one. And this is nine fluid ounces as well. It says all those fancy things. But this one says cold pressed and it's raw coconut plus mango. It says made with, uh, made with plant derived ingredients and cold pressed extracts for positively good, clean skin. So here is this one. Really, really nice. Um, maybe I'm getting a little soft a scent, but nothing extreme or anything like that. These are really beautiful packaged bottles. If you wanted to make somebody like, you know, a little care basket with like soaps and hand soaps and, you know, just things and face masks for a little day of pampering yourself, you know, making sure your skin is feeling nice and just really giving them like a cleanup type of basket that's going to make them feel good. This would be a really cute insert into a basket like that. So I picked that up. Then I found these and these are Herbal Essence, both of them. And they're, um, I'm going to try to say it, but I'm probably going to say it wrong. Argan oil, argan oil. Sure. Um, it says, uh, it says that one is the shampoo and one is the conditioner. And they're not big bottles at all. They're very, very small. They're actually quite cute, to be quite honest with you. They would be perfect for traveling. So I'll probably save these to take these with me whenever I end up going on one of my road trips. And um, they say that they are 100 milliliters. Yeah, 3.38 fluid ounces in both of them. So zero parabens and colorants. So that's what that says. And they do smell good because I did try these and they smell quite lovely in the store. So traveling shampoos is the way to go. I found Pro and Pro Pro Style Super Hold Protein Styling Gel. So, so I looked this up actually. I actually forgot to screenshot this one, but I looked this up. This is great because my son likes to gel his hair. My husband, I don't know why he does it, but he does put gel in his hair as well. But he has thin hair and it's, you know, it's just straight. But he does like to gel it so it, there's not any little frizzies popping up. So I grabbed this and this was about $3.50 from what I found it for other places. And this is a nice little jar of gel. It says it's 4.5 ounces of the gel. So I grabbed this for the guys to share. It's a heavy little tub and I think it'll stretch a pretty decent um, length of time for the two of them to just take care of their little hairdos in the morning before they leave. Now, oh my dear, there's so many things and I don't know what to go to next, but we're going to get into some baby stuff if you can believe it. I don't get to haul that stuff all that often, but today... I have some baby stuff for you guys. And I found this beautiful, beautiful little fleece baby blanket right here. I love when they come out with new designs and I'm already, you know, always in the aisle. So I stare at them longingly and think, what can I do with that? Because I would like to use that now for myself. But I found this one with the little unicorns all over it with the rainbow manes and tails and I just had to have it. Again, it's that beautiful, beautiful blue color that I'm really, really vibing with lately and I needed it. So I picked this one up right here and I'm probably going to save it in my grandchild bin. Um, but now I have it and if I decide to use it now or save it for later, it's mine. $4.25. So I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Then I have here, I have these little gift boxes because 
I am going to use these for other things like in the summertime for, you know, a birthday party for little favor treat boxes to put out. They don't have to be for baby showers or for a baby type of birthday or anything like that. It's just a plain gingham blue and white box and it has seven boxes in it and it's in the baby section and I thought how cute is this I could even use this for Easter just to put a little bit of the decorative shred inside and add some chocolate little covered eggs in there you know that would be so cute just to send home with somebody with little chocolates to have for a little gifting purpose it does have the really cute beautiful ribbons in there so that you can tie it make it look nice once I put these together I will share a picture with you guys of how I have put them out and then I picked up this one because I think that this one would be really cute for maybe my birthday party in the summer and you know just for a little treat box I love polka dots and so I really really liked this one again this is seven pieces as well and it comes with the right the white ribbon on in the packaging so that's awesome and all you have to do is kind of like pop them together and stand them up put whatever you want in them that's really adorable I never really get to zero in on the baby stuff but I needed a baby gift bag for somebody and I ended up going bananas in the baby aisle <laughs> so let's go over some baby gift bags I loved them and these gift bags were separated from the normal party bags that are usually on the wall. They're in the aisle with the baby stuff in my stores anyways. So I picked up this one right here that says, Hello Little One, with the design of those beautiful moon stars and clouds all over it. So, so beautiful. And then this is the inside of the bag fold right there. Very, very beautiful and cute. So I picked up that one. Then I grabbed this one. And this was the design of my son's nursery. So I just loved this bag so much. He had all of the, you know, he had all of the zoo animals. And it was just such a beautiful nursery. And this was his color scheme too. So I love the giraffe. I am in love with giraffes still. Since he was little, he had giraffes everywhere and it says sweet baby right here on the fender and then this is the inside of the bag right there that beautiful yellow with the stars gorgeous gorgeous bag and then nope neither one of those had tags that came with it then we have this one right here that says welcome little one and the rainbow has all glitter all over it also the lettering throughout the saying and the sunshine and the cloud so pretty so so pretty in all these bags I'll just keep on hand for whenever I need them I don't think you can ever go wrong with getting a gift bag from the Dollar Tree whether you're using it for crafting or you're gifting with it you cannot go wrong with it I went to Walmart this morning I just wanted to peek over at the gift bags. They do have some gift bags that are around the 98 cents that are kind of cute, but they're very limited. There's like six of them that are like 98 cents that have a little design to them and, you know, a size variation. But those bags are expensive. They're super expensive. They're like four or five dollars for a gift bag and why would you do that when you can go to the Dollar Tree and get them for $1.25 for every occasion and every style and every single size? It's incredible. And then this one. Oh my heavens. Is that not cute? Now think about even if you have a nursery for your baby, it could be one of these themes. You could frame this and just use it as a wall hanging. And I would totally have done this in my son's nursery if these bags were all I would have framed all of these and had them hanging up throughout his space so here is this one with this um lining on the inside love that one so so much then just a couple more here these ones are a little bit bigger 
And these do come with the tags also. So this one says Twinkle Twinkle Tiny Star. Oh my dear. This one tugged at my heartstrings when I saw it. It certainly did. So this is a nice, nice big bag. And then here is the inside of this one also. But that is just sweet as sweet can be. Love it. And then this one. And there's the tag right there. And this one says, you are my sunshine with the little hearts all hanging from the sunshine. And then, come on, babe. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. I like that. So I like the inside of this fold, like, even more than I like the outside of the bag. That's beautiful. So that's what it's going to look like when it's folded out. How pretty is that? And then this one. Look at the tag. It's that adorable, adorable little cloud right there. I love it so much. And then this one says, sweet dreams. How absolutely beautiful is that? And then let's see what this one is. Because it's a surprise to me, just like it is to you. How pretty. So here's that one with that mint green background. Adorable great bags okay so that was all of the bags but definitely check out the baby section you don't have to have it for a baby you can use it for other things because even none of those bags say specifically you know for a couple of them anyways that it has to be for a baby you can use it for whatever you feel like using it for so I loved being in the baby section I don't go in there often but I hit it and I was glad I did it so there's that. And now I'm going to show you guys this and then talk about somebody's channel here. This is a bamboo ring and there's two of them in here and they're two different sizes. So I watched a haul, um, not a haul. I watched my friend the other day and the name of her channel is long. So I don't want to mess it up, but this is her right here says life is messy but I'm learning as I grow so this is the channel that I watch every single time I try as diligently as I can to click on those videos fast because cooking you know cooking amazingly well and her craft video the other day that I saw was unbelievable I was so excited she had a ring like this and she did a whole design of a rainbow with a whole cloud and she used yarn to create the rainbow effect and she made a whole wall hanging piece that I am absolutely in love with and I want to try to make myself with some of the yarn that the Dollar Tree offers. So I found the rings which I'm really happy that I found this package of two just in case I want to make two rainbow wall hangings but you have to go check out this channel because I I'm just in love with it. Really amazing videos. So, so well worth the watch. So definitely go watch the rainbow craft, you know, uh, tutorial or however she called it for that video. But it was the rainbow wall hanging and it was breathtakingly adorable after it was done and hung up on the wall. I was in love with it. I must have watched the video like four times. So, so check that out if you want to see really cool stuff. So there's that. And then I grabbed some stuff down here that I thought was so cute. This is letter board notes. These are quotes for every day. And this is from Crown Jewels. So I thought that this was adorable, adorable, adorable. We're going to open it because I want to see what it's like. Let's see. I found this up by the registers as well so that you guys, you know, look up that way if you want to. So let's see what's happening inside of here. So every single day you can flip and it will tell you another beautiful little quote. It says, bloom where you are planted. 
on this page right there and how pretty to just like set out on the counter let's see if this sets up at all like oh it does okay so the bottom here you're gonna fold it so that this becomes like a little stand I'll have to work on that a little bit more because the bend in it is really deep but it's supposed to sit up like this so that you can just fold them back and read a new quote every single day. And this one says, don't quit your daydream. Love that. Do the right thing even when no one is watching. Very important message. Stay humble, work hard, and be kind. Think that that's fantastic. These are all great. Cupcakes are muffins that believed in miracles. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am going to love this so much. I almost don't even want to spoil myself by reading through all of them. I want it to be a surprise every day of what quote I'm going to get. So I'm going to end there. But how cute is this for an insert into a gifting idea or to just get for yourself? And I'm happy I spotted that and grabbed it. I love it. Then I found these sticky notes and this is 75 sheets and they did have several different colors around the borders but you know I love tie dye and I love rainbow prints so this is the one that I got and it says happy notes on it. I think I'm pretty sure that they all said happy notes across in the little message but they all had different borders around them. So I grabbed that because these are really good to just be able to have for sticky notes, you know, to leave on the fridge or to put inside of a friend mail that I mail out on the packages, on the packages that I might separate inside of a box, you know, to let them know to pick this one and open it first or whatever, just to leave little colorful messages. So we are going to end this here. Happy what day is this? Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you had fun. I hope you liked all the things that I hauled for you guys today. My dog has been going bananas over here next to me. She's like ruffling the whole bed, blankets and everything. She bosses me around all day. I love her so, so much, but she literally tells me what to do all day. I, I laid with her yesterday for her rest time, which she really does have like a nap time that I have to sit down with her so that she can just like reel it in a little bit and calm herself from her anxiety and how she's been feeling and stuff. So I lay down with her and during that time I like to like, you know, I like to do my budgeting and clean out my bill box and make sure that I'm organized in my paperwork and stuff, but I have to stay still with her. And yesterday I had to go to the bathroom so bad. I had to like, I had to, I had to pee. And so I went to try to like move my body out really slowly from her little warm body from sleeping and not disturb her. The minute I moved, she, she totally freaked out. She totally freaked out. Like I was ruining her, ruining her whole entire day. So, so, you know, she's just, she's mad at me right now and she wants me to stop it and come to bed with her so that she can lay down and snuggle with her mama. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. I just wanted to say thank you to you guys. I did post a video over on my vlog channel. Um, you know, just t talking about my journey here and how special it is to me, but I love you guys so much. And I had such an emotional day, um, that I hit the thousand cause you know, it was just like, it was so overwhelming and like happiness because there's like an astronomical amount of you that I just feel so connected to. And it's honestly, it's just overwhelming with like happiness and, and gratefulness and love and, and just wanting to, to just hug you guys and tell you how much I think of you every second that I get a chance to. So I didn't make a video for here. I just made one this morning for my vlog channel to kind of like get out my emotions and just say like how I feel about, you know, that moment. And I just want to tell you guys that I, I feel so grateful to know all of you, to know all of you in any way, 
and thank you guys, every single one of you that even click on my videos to watch it and spend time with me and watch me haul and you take those moments to connect with me afterwards and leave me comments. To all of you that hit, that remember to hit that like button. I know sometimes it can be hard. You watch the video and you don't think about it. But hitting that like, like button has been so helpful that more people have, you know, remember to hit that like button. It's so, so important to do that. You guys have helped me in so many ways on my journey here. And you've helped me, most importantly, in a way that is personal to me and special to me. So thank you guys so much. And so I want to show my thankfulness to you by offering a $25 gift card for the $1,000 subscriber mark. So on this video here, I just simply want you to either leave a rainbow emoji or just write out the word rainbow in the comments down below. You have to be 18 years and older. You have to be subscribed to my channel. Please like my videos if you watch my videos. It is so incredibly important to hit that like button. And also comment down below if you would like to. It never has to be a long lengthy message if you're not somebody that wants to engage in a full chat or anything like that. You could simply just say hi to me. You could leave me emojis. You know, I don't care. Leave me a banana. I don't even care what it is. I've told you guys that before. You can leave me whatever funny emoji you want to because truth be told, me and a couple of people just in my everyday life, we text each other random emojis and just crack each other up all day. Like they'll send me a monkey randomly throughout the day and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to send you back like the Italian flag. <laughs> <laughs> and we just do silly things like that to just like laugh and um it gets quite comical so if you guys want to leave me just crazy emojis in my comments during my videos it, it's just a it's just a moment for me to see you to see your name pop up or to see your picture with your name pop up however you have it you know as your channel or your way of connecting on YouTube and then I can feel out who's here with me all the time. And it's just because I love you guys. And I just want to thank every single one of you. And so many of you I don't know. So I want to make sure you all every single one of you know how how special being here with you at any time is to me. So thank you. So please make sure you are all those things subscribed, you like, share, comment, share uh, is totally optional. Please comment. And be 18 years and older and then $25 gift card and a rainbow emoji or the word rainbow in the comments below on this video. Give me until Monday night um, and then at some point on Monday night you will see me pick and pull a name from a jar and I will announce who won the $25 gift card and then you can choose where the gift card is going to be to. As long as I can get to it somewhere here in my vicinity of Massachusetts to get you a gift card of your choosing, I will get you the one that you ask for and we will figure out how I can mail it to you to whoever is the recipient that is going to be the winner of this giveaway. So that is it. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Please stay kind, blessed, happy, loved, amazing all these days until I see you next on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Hall. And thank you. 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 Subscribe, like, share, comment down below if you wish. And that would make me super happy. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. So thank you again. And I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Bye, everybody.